Alright guys, we're gonna be doing another Overwatch today. My name is Time is But a Window, and this guy has 22 kills already in the first half. And it is the 15th round, so this is the last round of the first half. He's got a 63% headshot percentage. Looks like he's trying to shoot this guy through the smoke. Don't think he connected. Don't think. <laughs> he's gonna continue to spam through the smoke. He's got that deagle in hand. There was a deep flashbang. And it looks like he's just gonna continue to spam here up next to this wall. Kind of pushing through now. There's two guys to the left. He throws the smoke down, but he gets taken out. So, 11 to 4. Terrorists are actually winning. Uh, because it just switched. And the suspects on that team, right? Yes. 132 ping as well. I got Flute kind of working, doing some work for him. He's making his way towards long. He's got body armor. Guy in sight. Guy peeking from bottom. Gonna take a shot towards the guy at bottom. Doesn't really connect with anything. But he continues to spam at the guy in sight. They're doing a boost. Looks like he kind of knew that they were going to be doing that boost right there. That was kind of interesting. So we take that guy out though, and you know, he goes down. The CTs do end up winning that first round. So he's going to make his way over here towards long with a deagle and armor. Able to one dig the first guy. That he is down to 56 health after that nade. See what he can do from here. One guy in middle. Takes a shot at him through the smoke. He might have been able to see a little bit of him though. There's a flashbang. Deep flashbang right past Hurricane, but he's able to connect with another Deagle headshot. Seemed to know that that guy hadn't moved away, that he was still right there. Takes a shot at this guy on catwalk. Gonna throw a flash. And he peeks out, kind of hid behind the wall and came out right as that guy came out. A little bit suspicious on this guy so far, but uh, nothing that we can't rule out at this point. He's going to be making his way over here towards B now. There are two guys making their way into B. He kind of got stuck on the stairs. Incendiary grenade comes in and he's going to back off and make his way over here towards lower. One guy close left middle. See if he peeks him. Definitely could hear him. He's kind of shooting at that left wall before he could see that guy. That was kind of suspicious. And now he's taking his time. Okay, he's got an AK and armor in hand. And he's going to be making his way over here towards the B site. One guy up on catwalk. Guy falls off cat. And he's going to make his way back up towards the upper tunnels. Suspect's going to peek out. The guy in back of sight. He's able to take one guy down. There is three guys here. And he actually does some major work taking out the one guy by window and the guy by car and his teammate. That was accidental though. Can't call that for griefing. One guy flanking. Uh, there's two guys left. Another guy's making his way through CT spawn. He doesn't seem too concerned about him right now. He's gonna plant the bomb. And he should be able to hear footsteps from him pretty soon, unless he's gonna be walking the way. And now he's looking over towards window door. And he can see kind of all of them if he's using wall hacks, but right now he looks like he's just watching over towards the bomb. Let's see what he how his play here is. See if it looks like he's able to tell when these guys are gonna come out and who's gonna come out first. Heard footsteps over to the left. Be able to take this guy down. The guy's by the box, and he's able to take him down as well. Still though, the way his crosshair was positioned, it didn't seem like he knew the guy was going to come out on the left side of the box first. Instead, he just kind of positioned his crosshair over there as he saw him. So nothing too suspicious about that clutch round, in my opinion. And now he's going to be making his way over here towards... Looks like middle. They are pushing long though, so they might get caught off guard now. And they didn't push all the way through long, so it looks like they're not going to, and they're going to make their way up the catwalk. One guy long, near pit. Suspect's going to have a chance to take him out here. He sees him. He's able to get him with a single scope. Good shot. Uh, another one goes down and CT spawn. One more pushing up the ramp, and one on catwalk. He's got that ramp guy, and last guy is on catwalk. This guy is doing well.
So now he's sitting here with the bomb out. He's kind of chilling for a moment. He seems to like to chill at the beginning of rounds, but I can understand that. Sometimes you're texting, sometimes you're typing to people, you know, you get stuff done during the freeze time. <laughs> Use your time, manage it as well as you can, right? Still though, the score is 14 to 6, so he's not in any... He doesn't have to get anything done immediately. He can drop a couple rounds here if he really has to, if something has come up in the real world. So, alright, here he goes. Could also be toggling hacks, guys. Guy on catwalk, he peeked it, he didn't see anyone, throws a deep nade, that will take that guy out, very good nade. And there is a guy left middle which he can exploit quite a bit, that will take him down. By the way, the guy on cat was low, so that means his teammate has probably spotted him out, and if he didn't leave his computer and he was sitting at it and someone had called and he was still watching the game, or listening to the game at least, he might have heard that call on cat that the guy was low. Either way, nading cat isn't super... Uh, suspicious or anything. One guy out middle, he gets, and one more was out there as well. He's in back of sight, the guy comes from tunnels, seemed like he was sort of caught off guard by it. Takes a shot at the guy by doors. He is in the back, plat, peeks the window, he's able to take that guy down. Good reaction time, seems to know where people are. I honestly am having a really hard time telling if this guy is using some sort of assistance, which part of me thinks he is. But part of me just wonders if he's just a smurf. They will take this guy out at long. Good reaction time. The thing is, his timing is unfallible. He always seems to be watching the right places. There, he was caught off guard. Now he's watching middle. See if he like scopes on him through anything. No, he's just kind of watching by the doors. Guy peeked out. He's able to take him down. One guy in lower B tunnels. He's actually not going to check it. Doesn't look like he knows there's a guy there. It'll take this guy out in sight. Really good aim. Leaves one guy left. CT spawn. He's able to take him out. This guy did have very, very good aim. Some of you might think that he was using an aim assistance. Part of me isn't sure if he was using anything. Uh, griefing, he did kill one guy, but you can't really say that was griefing. So insufficient. Other external assistance, speed hacking, automated jumping scripts. I didn't see him doing any bunny hopping or anything like that. Vision assistance, I can't really say for sure that he was using anything. Some parts were shady, but not shady enough to result in a ban. And aim assistance, again, his shots were on, especially because he's got that really accurate single scope AWP where it didn't seem like it mattered where the person was on his screen. He would scope in that AWP and he would pretty much hit that shot. I don't know if he really missed any shots in those kind of scenarios. Still though, it just wasn't to the point where I can say without beyond reasonable doubt that he was cheating. So, insufficient this time. If I see him again and he does something a little stronger, I will probably try to drop the ban hammer on him. Hope you guys enjoyed.